Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus and I'm joined by Mary from WayRay. So WayRay is very interesting because it has to do with augmented reality exactly. and automotive. Tell me a little bit about your products here. Yeah, so uh, we've spent like four years on R&D and now we're presenting our aftermarket product, which is Navian. You can mount it on your dashboard and look for the visor. And another one is solution for OEMs, which is embedded into the windshield and the dashboard. So technology is pretty much the same. You have this thin film that acts like holographic optical element. So you're able to see objects floating and actually overlaying the reality. So this is the difference between this one, true AR heads up display, and another, when you need to refocus and this, this our technology, you don't need that, that. So you see objects like on comfortable distance from your eyes. Right, so you, you've got the smaller version, right? And then you've got one that's a little bit bigger. What Absolutely. are the differences between the two? Are they coming up to market? Yes, after the market product, you're able to get like in the middle of the year or by the end of this year. Uh, for OEMs, we're actually working with most all of them. Uh, actually, I can't disclose the names, unfortunately. But um, basically, we started like uh, one year ago, and the first car will be able uh, on the will be on the market by the end of this year. Yes, it will have this embedded solution, so the drivers will be able to see all this holographic, cool AR stuff. Wow, do we know who, which car this is? I can say it's in China. It's in China. Why Why is everything in China? Yeah, because they're super fast and all other automotive guys are like old fashioned, they need time. Really? Yes. Okay, so somewhere in China, yes, uh, somewhere they, in China. they'll have some embedded augmented reality on top of that. So where is all of that information coming from? Do you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi or is that all sort of integrated first? Yeah, so on the market product, you plug in into OBD port. So it gathers all the information from sensors like LiDARs. So, so it knows where you are. Also has GPS inside and connects to Wi-Fi. So uh, it shows you houses like pedestrians or kind of some stuff going on uh, on your on your road, like animals or <laughs> something like that. Like a deer passing by. <laughs> yes, things you're passing by. Now it shows your uh, navigation, like uh, where you should go and speed. Uh, and so actually we're releasing SDK this year. So third party developers will be able to produce their own uh, AR application. So we're waiting like for crazy cool stuff, like any kind of points of interest in social nets and all that. Wow, what about branded content? Are they going to come in and go, you know, this is where McDonald's is, this is the best roof here, things like that? This is a good question. Uh, so we will have like action acts. Uh, you need to purchase them. So you'll be able to show your uh, advertisement or something about your business on top of others. Right. Yeah, so um, for, you can target drivers and passengers. So yeah, we'll think that like in the nearest future when you don't, don't need to keep your hands on the wheel, you need to be entertained. So, and there's going to be a lot of companies who want to grab your attention and show your, their stuff. So basically, um, this is kind of a uh, thing that they're waiting in the nearest future. But yeah, so anyway, by the end of the year, you will be able to see all this holographic navigation. Well, I tried out some virtual reality uh, and it was all about what potentially might happen in the future uh, with regards to how, you know, augmented or virtual reality creators could potentially overlay things into your car. Now, this was only for the front windshield, but I imagine that in the future, it'll be the whole car. And then exactly. it's, it's kind of like stepping into an immersive theater bubble. Yes. But your, your car is, is a bubble, it's an, a form of entertainment. Is that right? Yeah, of course. And now we're uh, talking about cars, but any kind of transportation, yeah, like buses, airplanes. Actually, we're going to be like a glass AR company, so any any shopping malls, any glass you see, you will be able to see any information. Where can people go and uh, see more of what you have? Is there, uh, are you guys showcasing in anywhere else besides China? We do have offices in Switzerland, in Lausanne, and uh, we have our own R&D lab, but this, unfortunately, that's all by now. That's so, it. yeah. Um, yeah, so wait uh, for the middle of the year, and uh, but right now you can go to the, our website and see all this information about uh, all True AR products and our True AR SDK. So what is the website? So go to www.wayray.com. All right, and head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about immersive technologies, and I'll see you there.